Today, we're going to do a quick editing tips video to answer the question, how do you create the custom sliding text box that you use in a lot of your videos? The first thing you're gonna do is go to annotations in the left-hand menu and then go to the shapes tab. So what I normally do is select the black text box and because I use this all the time, I have marked it as a favorite. Now I'm going to drag and drop the text box onto my canvas and then resize it as necessary. You can make this any size you want depending on how much text you wanna put on the screen. And then I'm going to go to the property section on the left hand side and get the color picker. And then I just use this to try to find a color that matches what's in the video and will stand out a little bit. So in this case, I have matched the color of the sliding box to the admin information tab. Next, I'm gonna to go to the call out section and grab a text box. And then I'm just going to resize that to match the shape that I have put on the canvas. And now you will put in any text that makes sense for your situation. In this example, I'm being a bit meta and pretending like I'm editing the OneNote video that I recently published. This text looks a little bit small. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the property section on the right hand side of the screen and you see we're at a font 64. I'm gonna jump this up to a font 95 and see if that looks a little bit better. Now I have my text box, but it's a little bit bland and I want it to pop off the screen. I'm gonna do that by adding a drop shadow, which I will add to both the text and the box itself. Now I'm gonna go back to the left-hand side and in the drop shadow effects section, you can see that I can adjust the blur. I like it to be a little more crisp. And so I'm gonna turn it down to about a three and then I'm gonna turn the offset up just a little bit to create the subtle effect that I'm going for. Now I'm gonna go back to the drop shadow in my favorites and drag it down to the shape effect on track two on the timeline. We're going back to the left-hand side of the screen again, and we're going to adjust the blur and the offset for the box. Now I turned the blur all the way up and all the way down, just so you can kind of see how it offsets on the box. And if we zoom in, you can see that there's a bit of a shadow behind the shape and a little bit of a shadow behind the text box. Now that we've built our text box, I'm gonna to go to the behavior section and grab the sliding option drag it and drop it down to the timeline on top of both the text and the shape. I'm going to run the playhead across the timeline just so that we can see how this effect looks to start. Currently, the properties are set up to have the text box slide in from the top and I want it to slide in from the left. So in the properties section, I'm going to make the adjustment so that it comes in from the left it does nothing while it's there and then goes back out to the left. And you're going to want to set this up for both the text and the box. The difference with the text is you'll need to select the object, go to text, and then I choose simultaneous. And that's because I want all the letters to come in at the same time. There are several effects such as having them explode in, drift in, or even a typewriter effect, but I find that to be a little bit busy for my editing style, so I just use simultaneous. As always, go with whatever option feels right for you and your video editing style. Now that we've done all this work, we're going to zoom in on the timeline and select both the text and the shape, right click and select group. Then I'm going to right click again and select rename group and then call it sliding text box. I'm going to right click one more time and say add to library. And then you can choose whatever library you have. For mine, I'm just gonna put it in my YouTube library. And what this does is it allows me to constantly reuse this same asset without having to create it over and over again. And as a quick example, you can see that I have dragged and dropped the asset onto another part of the timeline. All I have to do is double click and type in some new text, as well as use the color picker to choose another color for the underlying box. I can even drag it to a different place on the canvas just so that my text boxes don't become boring by always sliding in from the same location. It's much easier to customize an existing asset instead of having to build it all over from scratch. 
I hope you found this editing video helpful, and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.